What's up creative people? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Zenaida and this is Fashion with Zenai, a place to inspire fashion lovers, to share my love for fashion and DIY projects. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a mini wrap skirt. So without further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial. For this tutorial, you're going to need the following tools. You can find all these materials in the description box down below. The fabric that I'm going to use is a cotton fabric. It's 94% cotton and 6% elastic. To create the skirt, you're going to need a pattern. You can find a digital pattern of this skirt on my Etsy shop. I will leave the link in the description box. I'm going to create the skirt with the pattern size XS, which is equal as size 34. This pattern has 8 pattern pieces. You're going to place the front and the back piece on the fabric fold and cut out one piece for the front and one piece for the back. For the left front piece, you're going to cut out one piece. Pieces number 4, 5 and 6 are for the facing. You're going to place the front piece and the back piece on the fabric fold and cut out one piece. Then you're going to place the left front piece on the fabric and cut out one piece. For the skirt belt, you're going to cut one piece for the strap and one piece for the belt. For each piece, you're going to add seam allowance. For the front, left and back piece, you're going to add one and a half centimeter for the side. On the waist, you're going to add one centimeter seam. For the facing pieces, you're going to add one and a half centimeter on the side. And one centimeter seam on the upper edge, which is the waistline. For the strap and the belt, you're going to add one and a half centimeter seam on the side. And for the upper edge and the bottom edge, you're going to add one centimeter seam. And now you can start with the sewing process. Pin the darts of the front piece. Then you're going to sew the darts. For the back piece, you're going to pin the darts. Sew the darts. For the back piece, you're going to iron the seam of the dart flat. And you do the same for the front piece. This is the left front piece of the skirt. You're going to connect the side with the side of the back piece. Then you're going to connect the side of the front piece with the side of the back piece. Sew the side with one and a half centimeter. But before you sew it, you need to leave an opening for the strap. On the left side of the front piece, you're going to go one centimeter down from the waist edge and leave an open space for the strap. Don't pay too much attention with the side edge on the left side. As you can see, I already finished it off. I forgot to leave an open space, so what I did was I sewed the side edge from top until the bottom. So don't make the same mistake as I did, leave an open space for the strap. Sew one centimeter from the waist edge until the beginning of the opening. And then from the bottom of the opening, you're going to sew until the bottom edge. Sew the side edge of the left and right side. Iron the seam of the side flat for a clean look. You're going to finish off the side edge of the right side with the serger. For the left side, 
you're going to finish off the side edge later after you place the strap. For the left front piece, you're going to serge this edge. Search the bottom edge. Now you are going to sew the belt and the strap. Fold the strap with the good side of the fabric facing together. Pin the strap. Fold the belt with the good side of the fabric facing together. Pin the belt. Sew the edge of the belt and the strap with 1 cm seam. Now you're going to invert the strap and the belt. I'm using a bobby pin. Iron the seam of the belt and the strap flat. Now you are going to place the strap around the buckle. Make sure the seam is facing in. Now you are going to place the strap at the opening on the left side with the good side of the fabric facing each other. You are going to place the strap exactly against the top and bottom seam of the opening. And now you're going to sew the opening from the waist edge. Then you're going to sew the left side edge with the serger. On one side of the belt, you're going to fold one centimeter seam allowance inwards. And the other side of the belt, you're going to leave it open. You're going to top stitch right along the folded edge. Now you're going to connect the belt with the left front piece. This is the side of the left front piece with the good side of the fabric facing up. And this is the folded edge where you're going to connect the belt. This is one side of the belt with the stitch. And this is the side that you're going to connect to the left front piece. You're going to leave an open space of one and a half centimeter seam allowance. And from there, you're going to place the belt on top of the fold line with the good side of the fabric facing each other. Make sure you place the belt one centimeter from the waistline. Pin the belt on the fold line. Then you're going to sew the belt end on the fold line. And this is how it will look like once you sew in it. Finish off the belt edge with a serger. Once you finish off the edge, you're going to make a safety stitch along the edge. You can do it by hand or with a sewing machine. And this is how it will look like. You can see that the end is not loose. The next step is to connect the facing to the waistline. It is an option to use interfacing for the facing pieces. I didn't use it on the fabric that I was working with. So it's totally optional. You're going to search the bottom edge of the facing pieces. If you're working with an interfacing, you can finish off the bottom edges of the facing after you place the interfacing on the facing fabric. Turn the back piece of the facing over with the good side of the fabric facing up. You're going to connect the side of the left front piece with the side of the back piece. Make sure that the good side of the fabric is facing each other. Then you're going to connect the side edge of the front piece with the side edge of the back piece. Sew the side edges. Sew the side edges. 
Now you're going to connect the upper edge of the facing with the waistline of the skirt. Make sure that the good side of the fabric is facing each other. Pin the waist edge. Sew the waistline with one centimeter seam. I run the seam to make it look flat. Once you iron the seam, you're going to top stitch the facing along the edge. And this is how the top stitch will look like. Fold the facing of the left front piece. Pin the bottom edge. Sew the bottom edge with one and a half centimeter seam. Fold the upper part of the facing. Make sure the waist seam line is facing each other. Then you're going to make a safety stitch until the waist seam. After you sew it, you're going to turn it over. This is the belt end you already sewn by hand. And you also need to sew this side of the belt to the waist seam by hand. For the right side of the front piece, you're going to fold the facing against the fabric of the front piece with the good side of the fabric facing each other. And then you're going to make a safety stitch with one and a half centimeter seam. After you sew it, you're going to turn it over. Double fold the edge. And then you're going to sew it with one centimeter seam. Pin the bottom edge. And then you're going to sew it with one and a half centimeter seam. You're going to make a safety stitch here. You can do it by hand or with the sewing machine. I made the safety stitch by hand. This is how it will look like once you made the safety stitch. If you don't want this part to be open, you can make a safety stitch by hand. But make sure you sew it in a way without seeing the thread on the good side of the fabric. The last thing you're going to do is to place the button onto the skirt. I'm using a small press button. Place the skirt with the wrong side of the fabric facing up. Then you're going to place the bottom of the press button on the facing, almost against the side seam. And from the waistline, I went almost one centimeter down to place the press button. And then you're going to sew it by hand. You're going to place the top of the press button on the front piece. Make sure that the good side of the fabric is facing up of the front piece. Place the top of the press button almost next to the seam of the left side of the front piece. And then you're going to sew it by hand. Make sure that the distance from the waist to the bottom and top of the press button is the same. And this is how it should look like once you placed it. And once you're done, you should have a skirt that will look like this. I'm really happy with the outcome. It looks so cute and beautiful. 
I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and find it helpful. If you decide to create your wrap skirt, I would love to see a photo of your creation by using the hashtag ZenIDesigns. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day. Bye bye.